Hey everyone, so this is a voiceover intro to explain what you're about to see because I just sort of jump into it, but for the last 10 to 15 minutes of this week's Flash, I decided to record my reaction because things were getting intense and I thought, ooh, something bonkers might happen, and bonkers did happen. I recorded what I think is probably the best scene of the episode and some of the best scenes we've had in a while, Uh, but if you aren't interested in seeing me talk about the Flash, skip to the timestamp right now on the screen for my air reaction. Anyway, enjoy my two-minute reaction to this week's Flash and, of course, the recap and all my thoughts and feelings right afterwards. All those headstones. Those people are dead because of my connection to you. How many times do I have to suffer for you? When is he ever going to suffer? This is you manipulating me. So I'll do what you want. That's not true. I care about you. All it cares about is you, Zachary. You must listen to me. Kill the speed force? What the hell? <laughs> My god, that's rough. It takes something special to beat a sentient infection. He ain't beat shit. <laughs> that's the guess. There's another part to this two part finale for mid season. change too. I hope you guys enjoyed that mini reaction to this week's episode of The Flash. It, there was 20 minutes left and I thought things were really ramping up so I decided to hit record real quick and I caught what is the best part of the episode. What I really really loved about the final scenes with Iris talking to Zombie Barry or Bloodwork Barry, Bloodwork Barry, that's a good name, is how quiet it was. It was so quiet. It, it just set the tone that something is off. Something is uneasy. Things are not right. There isn't background music that's all happy other than Barry acting very, very weird. I just loved how it consistently stayed quiet throughout the entire thing. Um, but yeah, the episode was cool. I enjoyed the, you know, mind games that were happening with Bloodwork and with Barry and his... The acting was crazy. Grant Gustin did such a good job with this week's episode. Um, I also liked the one shot, I remember I wrote this down, <laughs> the one shot when it was Camilla uh, Allegra, is that right? I don't, I don't know if that's her name. And Iris all, all uh, standing like after their news story and it like zoom shot on them. It's like there's like a team. And I'm so glad that Iris is getting an actual storyline this season and something that's like substantial in her own thing in Central City Citizen. That's really cool. Uh, Frost's panic attack was interesting and her, you know, talking with Katie and reverting back to Caitlyn is going to be interesting and also a bit exciting for me. As, lo as much as I love seeing Frost and you know how much I love Frost. I have been feeling a lack of Caitlyn this season, and especially her... We never saw Caitlyn's reaction to Crisis, you know? We never saw her digest that as her own person, and I think that that was missing for me, and I am glad that we're going to get Caitlyn for however long. I don't know, maybe probably next episode, because it's... I don't know how much she's going to be involved in Crisis, you know? It's 36 hours, or in Flash's timeline, we are 36 hours away. For us, it's two weeks, I think? I think it's two weeks, yeah, because next week is the second part to this mid-season-ish finale, and then we'll have Crisis, so I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. And then the other thing I want to talk about this episode before I jump into Arrow is the symbols that Nash uncovered. It was, I don't really know what they were, but the last symbol looked like an arrow, so maybe those are symbols for all the heroes that are going to be fighting in the Crisis, or some of the heroes that are going to be fighting in the Crisis. I'm speaking way too fast. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's everything with this week's Flash. I kind of really just want to jump into Arrow because we had some uh, tranquilizer darts, and it was Diggle, Laurel, and Oliver, and Lila was looking over them, so I'm hoping for Lila backstory and mainly just Lila backstory and more of her this episode. Anyway, uh, let's get started with Arrow Season 8, Episode 6, I think? 
Holy crap, we're on episode six. Oh, is this? What do you mean? Oh, uh, this isn't real. I was on a roof with John and Laurel. Hey, um, serious question. When did Palmer Tech get rebuilt? You really need to drop this amnesia routine quick. This fundraiser is all. Oh, I didn't even realize this was. I just got chills. All. <gasps> I love that tears just instantly sprung to my eyes. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Ah. Uh. We lived. If we see this man die again, I'm going to throw hands. Groundhog Day! It's Groundhog Day. Oh, cool. Not fun, though. Uh. Fully aware of how this is going to sound. Quinn and I trapped in some sort of time loop. With the same events, just keep Honestly, it wouldn't be that far out. He's seen the flash. How can I help? Do you actually believe me? Oliver, I've seen one daughter die and come back to life. Oh, I love you so much. Laurel? Oh, it's you. Would you relax? We are both here for the same thing. Hey, did she know? How did you know about the bomb? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Time loop. Well, actually, since you're not going to remember anyway, there is a crazy space god who has been trapped in a time loop. Yeah, me too. Clinton is upstairs buying us some time. Clinton, he's here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, baby girl. Nope. 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 Shut up. So they have to make sure Lance doesn't die. That's the guess. I mean, I'm just glad this monitor guy just kept me as Mary, you know? What is it? What's that look? A year and a half ago, when Diaz, when he shot you in, in the real reality or whatever, you, you didn't exactly, um... I didn't recover. No, no you died. To save me. That's where I could have gone. What? I'm sorry. I basically just told you you're a ghost and you're completely okay with that. It doesn't it doesn't phase you. You're completely calm. I always felt like I cheated death with that one. I have so many thoughts and feelings on Lance that I'm just realizing right now, which is crazy. I'll talk about it after. It's that's ah, too late. Oof. Maybe not. Are they still okay? Lila? Ooh, was she lying? She's just really good, isn't she? No! No! Oh, what? Come on! I just, I'm, I'm tired of seeing him die. Oh, 
my gosh! This is just not fun! <sighs> What's up, girl? Gone. What did you, what did you do, Lila? I didn't do anything. Laurel got what she needed from this. I heard time for these games, Lila, so whatever this is, get me out of here right now. I can't do that, Oliver. Marno needs you to understand. No good will come from struggle. The only way to win is to accept the inevitable. No! Ah. Oh. Well, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that shot. All the shot. This is, it's still going. It's still going. It's great. I, it's still going. It's still going. Oh my. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was okay. Yeah, that was one. Wow. That deserves that. Wow. There is no saving me from this. Okay? You ever think that's the point? And you're not supposed to. When guys from me, I felt different. I thought it was finally at the end. And I made my peace with that. Oh man. Ah fuck this episode. The actress who plays me and her eyes when she tears up, it's crazy. <laughs> That's like me this entire episode, I've just been tearing up. Are they in, um, Lee and you? The tent looks... Yeah, you're at Lee and you. It's a tent. <laughs> and there's, like, trees and shit outside. Ooh! What time are they in? Gosh. God, Arrow is so freaking good! I can't get over how good this season has been. Is that it? Ah, no! I didn't see anything else. Ugh. Arrow's just been incredible this season. Arrow is the best Arrowverse show. It is, especially, like, listen, I know that I've talked in the past about my love for Arrow and how I hold it in high regard against every other Arrowverse show. Um, it's mainly because I am more connected to the characters on this show than I am any other show. Don't get me wrong, Legends is a close second, but this show, especially this season, out of Supergirl, Batwoman, and Flash, it, Legends is not on right now, which is weird, but whatever. This is the best. It's undoubtedly the best. I, I can't, ex like, I, it's the best. Um, so when I said, I mentioned something, I hope I kept in the reaction, but I mentioned something at the beginning of this video where I was like, uh, thoughts are coming to me. I saw like a tear, like, in my eye, um, about Quinn. And 
I honestly think that this episode was my 6x22 when Quinn actually died. At least I think that's the episode when he died. I'm pretty sure. And the season 6. The season 6 finale. When I saw that finale, I knew going in that we were going to lose Quentin. Or at least I was, I'm 99% sure. I can't remember. That was like two-ish years ago. Um, so going into that, my, I guess, grieving process or my shock or my expectation and the uh, execution was very lackluster. I mean, I remember crying. I remember being upset, but I never felt the way I did this episode watching Quentin again because it's like with Laurel I got to say goodbye properly you know what I mean um and with Oliver just accept you know what I mean just in this whole thing and also seeing him again was amazing I miss him so much he was such an integral 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 part to the show and having him come back has it, it uh, uh, the entire episode I spent it teary-eyed I spent it teary-eyed and it was wonderful and awful at the exact same time the one oh david ramsey who directed the episode he plays diggle <laughs> amazing job absolutely fantastic job that one long shot fight scene with quentin and oliver just run it amazing i'm so excited to watch this episode again because i am going to watch this episode again um i get to edit it and then i'm going to watch it again which is awesome um the emotions, I felt like every five seconds it was just, oh my gosh, uh, everything about it was amazing and, you know, I, I, I'm so concerned that we're not going to get a Lila flashback to what and when and where if it's all going to be really vague. I don't want it to be vague, I want details, I want when she got in contact with the monitor, what is happening? I want so much, and I'm really afraid that we're not going to get that. Um, I don't know what the third trial is, or whatever number trial this is. They're on Leanne Yu. A part of me is really hoping... I, obviously, we're in the past, because Leanne Yu is still up. Right? Because Leanne Yu blew up. <laughs> because the last we saw it was it was blowing up, and Prometheus was there. I really hope we see Slade. I really hope we see Slade. Um, that would be super, super cool. I get some callbacks to that. Uh, but yeah, um, gosh, gosh, this episode is great. This whole season is so great. I'm going to miss Arrow so much. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I liked how both this episode and Flash's episode this week had a bit of a you know, accepting or trying to accept or this whole like mind thing going on. I really enjoyed that. And I wonder if the writers were all like, oh, we're doing like something similar. Like, it's pretty cool. We get to have it like back to back. Um, but yeah, guys, we are getting closer and closer to crisis. We have one, I think next week's episode, we have next week's episode. I'm pretty sure is going to be our Leanne Yu episode, then we're going to go into Crisis. Now, what I know, what I can't tell if I remember, or if I have said this before, but what it's going to be, or at least I think it's going to be, is we're going to have Batwoman, Supergirl, and Flash, the first three parts, the, the week of December 10th, and then there's going to be a break, and then we're going to come back with the last two parts, which will be Arrow and um, Legends of Tomorrow. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that schedule, but that's what I've been, like, hearing through the whispers. I've been totally crisis dark mode. Um, I have muted all crisis words on my phone on all social media. I have been not looking at anything era related other than uh, the episodes itself. Um, and I have not been looking at the comments. I've been, like, kind of skimming through the comments a little bit, but if I see something mentioning the word crisis, I go immediately away. So I'm basically in the dark. The only thing I really know is a schedule and some other things, but I'll talk about more about that whenever Crisis actually starts. But yeah, we, I'm also upset that, there's a part of me that's upset that Crisis is coming, even though I'm very, very excited for it to come, um, because it means that, like, Arrow's ending soon. Like, this was episode six. We have seven, and then eight will be Crisis, nine and ten. We have four more episodes left, and that sucks. It really does suck because I feel like all the other Arrowverse shows 
this uh, season have been a bit lackluster for me and this has been the real highlight um, so I'm gonna be very very sad to see it go anyway um, I'm gonna go now I am very tired uh, my brain's all over the place so I'm gonna head out I will see you guys next week Pre that's gonna be the that's gonna be pre-crisis that's gonna be the last episode we have pre-crisis ah oh, man I'm excited and a little sad and a little nervous and all the emotions about it. Man, Arrow, oh, I'm going to miss it so much. This episode just reminded me how good it is. I mean, this whole season has been, it's the best season of the show. It's, okay, I'm going to stop ranting about my love for Arrow. Um, see you guys next week for things 